Hi everybody, it's been a minute. It's been a minute, I know. And that's because I've been busy with my thesis. I've been working on my master thesis and it's been taking up a lot of my time. So I haven't been able to film. I have been making content. I just haven't had the time to like put it together and share it with you guys. But I thought this would be a really fun video to do because I recently just bought a few perfumes without really trying them out in store. Um, I have a little perfume collection that I haven't shared with you guys yet. I will at some point. They had really good deals and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna buy them and I'm gonna hope for the best. Stupid idea, I know, but we're here. We're gonna try them out together. This is my first, like, first first impressions of actually trying them, trying them out because I haven't tried them out in store. Actually, I got three perfumes. One of them is a repurchase, so this one um, is Perfect by Marc Jacob. This is a very special perfume for me. Um, this is the one that I wore on my wedding day. I will get into it. But the ones that are my blind buys are these ones. So the Flower Bomb by Victor and Rolf and YSL Libre. Libre, Lieb, I don't know. People call it a few different things. But this one. I got the intense version. I've tried out the like the original in store but I've never tried the intense so we're gonna see and also for the flower bomb I have never tried it out ever but I've heard really really good things about it and so I was like you know what it can't be that bad it can't be that bad right so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna try them out together so I just want to give you a little bit of a background of like what kind of perfumes I really like so I'm a very like floral girl I really like flowery like bright happy kind of perfumes I'm not a big fan of like spicy, warm um, perfumes. I do like them every once in a while, but I really enjoy like really floral, fruity, you know, like very like teenage, very like young girl vibes perfumes. One of my favorite perfumes ever is Burberry Her, which is a very sweet like whipped cream, strawberries, that kind of a scent. And so that should give you an idea of like what kind of perfumes I like. So I've just unboxed them and I'm very excited, but I'm also really scared because after hearing so many good things about these perfumes, if they're not what people like say they are, I'm just, I'm, I don't know, I, I don't know what I would trust then, you know? But let's talk about Flower Bomb. Um, I'm obsessed. This is such a cute bottle. Honestly, more than anything, I really wanted this perfume just because of how cute it is. It's a really cute bottle. Um, and let's try it out. Okay. Okay. If I could get it. There we go. Okay. Guys, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Okay. I'm scared. Let's see. Okay. I'm getting very much florals, but they're really like warm florals. Like, it's giving warmth. It's giving like... Listen, I'm not great at um, like talking about perfumes or what they smell like, but I'll try, okay? It's giving very much like there's something herbal about it. There's like like something that's not floral. Um, it's it's a little bit warmer than I would have expected like florals to be. Like it's not very like lifted and bright. You know, it's very it's like a very muted floral. There's a lot of warmth in it. Um, do you know what though? I like it. I like it. It's sweet. It's definitely sweet. So if you're not into sweet perfumes i don't know i don't know about this one but it's definitely really sweet and it's you can tell that there is florals in it um so right off the bat it comes off super super floral um and then now it's giving like a little bit less floral the notes also say citrus although I don't think I can smell any citrus. Um, I do not recommend um, blind buying perfumes just because you never know what you get. This is the first time I've blind bought perfumes and I did so because I've heard so many great things. Like I've heard so much 
good stuff about them that I was just like, you know what, they must be good. Um, and I get it. It's definitely something to get used to. You know, because yes, it's floral, but it's a little bit warm. I don't like like warm, like I don't like spicy warm um, scents. So it's definitely a new experience for me, but I like it. I know I'm gonna wear this. I know this is the kind of perfume that I will enjoy um, wearing. I like it. Okay. Okay. Now this is the second one. Um, the YSL Libra. The bottle is so stunning. I love it. I love it. This is gonna look so good on your vanity, your like dressing table, whatever. But this is the second one. Now the story behind this one is I got the original, right? I bought it. It was a blind buy, but I was really scared because this is not a sweet scent, right? Like this is warm, this is woody, this is spicy, this is all of that. It's not floral. So I was a bit scared and I did not want to, I did not want to not like the scent. So I got the original one first, went into the store, tried it out, did not like it at all. So I returned the original. And then I heard really, really good things about this one. So a lot of people say that you might like this one more because it's more like it's got a very like vanilla base it's sweeter it's like a bit more feminine i suppose and so that's why i was like you know what i'm gonna try the intense ver version i've heard that it lasts a very very long time so the top notes are lavender orange bergamot middle notes lavender again <laughs> orange blossom jasmine and then the base notes are vanilla donka beans blah 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 right Let's see. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna spritz this on this side. I'm scared. I'm scared. This this is the one I'm scared about because it's not the kind of scent I normally go for. Okay, but let's see. Okay, I don't even have to like put my wrist near my nose because I can already smell it. But. Okay, right off the bat, it's giving detergent. It's giving soap, which is weird because I've never heard anyone say that, but I can feel the sweetness coming in. I can feel like the warmth and the, the sweet like vanilla coming in now, but when you spray it first thing, you smell soap. Not in a bad way, but just soap, okay? You know what, it's still giving soap, but like a sexy soap. I don't know how else to explain it. So the thing with this one is, right? The original, I tried it in store, did not like it right away, but then I was home and then I had it on me and I kept like getting a whiff of it and it was just really, really nice. It's a really nice perfume to smell on someone else. And so I really liked it and I was like, you know what? Maybe I can grow to like it and so that's what it's giving. So now after a while that I've had it on, it is it has started to kind of warm up and become quite sweet. It's not giving soap anymore. It's giving like sexy, woody, musky, floral, okay? But, but don't think of it in terms of like bright florals. Don't think of it like rose or I don't know stuff like that it's not bad it's very you know what i don't think i can smell the lavender to be honest i would describe it as a soapy sexy scent now soapy scents don't have to be bad okay um they don't but it's it's different um out of all the scents i've had most of them are sweet and if i had to pick out one that's that stands out, but not in a bad way. I would, I would, I would think that it's this one. Where did it go? My battery is about to die, but I want to quickly talk about uh, "Perfect" by Marc Jacob. This is my repurchase. Um, I love this scent. That's what it looks like. I think it's a very stunning perfume bottle. Yes, I wore this on my wedding day, and I absolutely love it. Like I have really good memories um, with this perfume. I had the smaller bottle. I got the 50 ml this time. It's a very floral scent. Like it's happy it's bright i feel like 
This is the kind of scent that you have to try out to really know what I'm talking about. It is sweet, like it's a sweet scent, but it's a very bright, lifted, sweet scent. It's not like sickly sweet, it's not like gourmand, it's very... I don't know how to explain it, it's a very lifted sweetness, right? Like I'm gonna put it on. Some people say that it smells like bananas. Now I hate bananas, I hate banana shakes, I hate like what banana smells like. So I do not think that it smells like bananas because otherwise I would not like this, but... And my battery died. I wanna talk to you guys about like the final verdict, right? Flower Bomb, definitely a yes. It's really nice. I love floral scents. So this is definitely along the lines of florals. It's very nice. It's very sexy. It's very kind of woody, almost woody. I don't want to say like super woody, but it is nice. However, the YSL one, it's still giving soap. It's giving soap, okay? Not in a bad way, but it's just different for me because I'm not a, I'm not a, sexy woody musky soapy girl i'm a very happy floral fruity girl so it's gonna take time for me to get used to it do i hate any of them no i don't i don't hate either of those i will wear them i will try them on i will test them out so i'm quite happy that i bought these without testing them out in store but it wasn't a bad decision i don't recommend it I don't recommend it. Flower Bomb, I think, is still quite like blind by safe, to be honest. But the YSL one, definitely try it out. Try it out in store. Um, I will share more about like my perfume collection. If you guys want to know more about it, then definitely I will share more. But this was just something that I thought was really fun. I really wanted to do it with you guys because it was my first time like trying them out as well. And so I really hope you enjoyed the video. And please like and subscribe if you like my content. And I'll be back soon. But I'm not busy with my thesis. So yeah, see you then.